Hi Aries and Aries Rising. Welcome to your money read for 2023. You know, lately, in the past couple of months, I have noticed just your readings in general are becoming more and more intuitive where for years I did your readings and didn't see all these intuitive cards, but you are really getting them uh, on steroids for 2023 with your money reading. Now we start out the first quarter, movements, choices, and decisions. You are looking at your options, okay? But it's gonna be important for you to do your due diligence and research in a very timely manner. Because look at what we have here. Take action in the Oracle deck. There is something that you need to take action towards in the first quarter, and I mean swift action. Your, how you think about this, you think, you think that you have to speak your mind. Well, I, I don't know any Aries that doesn't speak your mind, so that's fine. Continue to do that. You got a yes here. Um, the second quarter, base chakra, you going through the motions, but you're not having any fun. Um, this could also mean that you're just feeling you know, maybe a little under the weather or something like that. And so you don't have enough energy to really manifest, receive, or even work as hard as you did before. But here we go with the intuition cards. Listen to your intuition. Whatever your gut is telling you to do to resolve this, this could also mean that the base chakra is blocked, by the way. Go look up YouTube and clearing out the base chakra and pick a video that you like. You clear out all the chakras. That'd be great. Um, to alleviate this. Now, if you get an additional message, then follow it, okay? Your third quarter. Again, intuition. I mean, I can't even make this up. T two cards that say intuition here. Third, But this is the third quarter. You're still receiving information However, this time, it typically comes in the format of dreams. Uh, this could be a daydream, too. I guess this could be a gut feeling but or meditation. She does have her eyes closed, so notice that. Look for a sign. I mean, come on. Can you believe this? All these intuitive messages, cards... Look for a sign. Ask the universe for a sign or the higher power, God, whatever you want to call it. You will get it. Okay? Hopefully it's not going to be lightning strike right in front of you and scare the shit out of you. But if that happens, then Aries can take it, right? You've got the stomach to take it. Okay. Now let me just say this. The fourth quarter. This is the devil card. Watch your spending. You need to be on a budget. Do not overspend. Do not max out the credit cards. Don't even cl get close to max out the credit cards. Use coupons. Use coupon codes. Wait till stuff is on clearance. Okay? Choose a new direction. So it's not going to be time to break the bank for the holiday spending season. It's also possible that a lot of you have birthdays around in the fourth quarter. And so you're spending more money on that. But this is definitely a warning here. And also, watch your spending on booze. You know, hopefully it's not drugs. Okay. Watch the spending on booze, cigarettes, or maybe you're around someone who wants you to spend money, your money, on those items. So watch out for that. Make sure you're telling other people no who want to overspend your money. Okay. Okay. Watch your credit card statements. Make sure there's no, like, watch your phone calls and emails. Make sure nobody's trying to, like, steal your identity or, you know, um, do some sort of fraudulent transaction where they rack up your credit card and it's unauthorized. Watch your joint accounts, stuff like that, okay? All right, Aries. Let's look at your career and see what your career brings for you in 2023.